I don't use REST APIs between my backends. And after this video, neither will you. Every time you use a REST API, you are actually invoking a remote procedure call to the other server you're calling some function on it. Using REST instead of gRPC brings a lot of issues with performance, readability, and maintainability. You have definitely seen this before. Serializing data to JSON, building a HTTP request, waiting for the server's response, parsing into JSON, validating the format, and finally executing business logic. Everything can easily contain bugs. That's where gRPC comes in, with its two basic primitives. The protobuf message, specifying your payloads, and the service definition or your endpoints. Let's convert the payloads first. We create one protobuf for the request and one for the response. Then we create the service definition containing one RPC, set subscription. We use this by first switching the HTTP client with a gRPC channel the server connection, and a subscription service stub. We create the request, pass it to the stub's set subscription method, which returns a response. Then we just use the response dot was created and updated subscriptions. Oh, and also, this is seven times faster than REST and you will never break your API ever again. But now let's look at a larger example, like this beautiful Python server. It is creating social media posts where we tag other users. We call an endpoint to authenticate a request. Then there is an endpoint to ensure the user is allowed to make posts for the account. We verify that the user may tag all the tagged users. Finally, we create the post and get it in the canonical format before returning the created post. So a lot of boilerplate. We start out with converting the off service from a REST API to a gRPC server. First, create the request message taking only the user's token, the response returning the user ID, and if it is delegated access. Then we create the service definition with just a single RPC auth. To implement this, create a class auth service inheriting the generated code auth service services, implement the auth RPC, returning permissions denied if the token is invalid. Now we just need to convert the client code as well. First replace the HTTP client with the auth service stub, send the auth request and read the data from the response. Next we need to create the post service gRPC stub. This has a get post permissions RPC, a get tag permissions RPC, a create post RPC, and a get post by ID RPC, and all corresponding protos. Now we just replace this HTTP client with a gRPC stub and convert all the REST API calls to gRPC ones. With this done, we now use gRPC. And I can actually read the code now. So that's quite an improvement. But we still have one major thing to cover. How do we modify the API? After all, change is the only constant in software development. No matter what, you can break down API modifications to three things. Adding functionality, 
removing functionality or modifying functionality. Adding functionality is the easiest. Just add a field to the corresponding protobuf or add a new function to the service definition, but make sure that the API keeps working even if a client calls without setting the field. Otherwise, non-migrated clients are going to break. Removing functionality is slightly more difficult. First, you need to make sure no clients are using the field or function you want to remove. If the API is widely used, that's a lot of work. But once you migrated everything, you can safely delete the field or function. Modifying functionality becomes quite difficult. In fact, you should probably just never do it. Say what you want is change what the field means or the data it contains. You will never just change the type of this field. Instead, you add another field with this new meaning, migrate all the clients, and then eventually you can remove the old field. While in REST, you could do whatever you want, and maybe not even realize you're changing the API. For gRPC, every change you make is very clear as you explicitly change the API in a clearly defined location. So, by following the rules, you will never break your system by incompatible API changes ever again. And that is gRPC. Thank you for watching.